New players really don't understand how the Skull of Siren song works in Sea of Thieves. You see, Rare has designed a perfectly engineered competitive voyage that has players clawing their way to the finish line over the ghosts and skeletons of their enemies, all to hand in one skull to one random island that everyone involved should know the location of. Beacons fill the sky and icons flood the map. Briggsy even tells you what to do. There's even multiple pop-ups explaining how it all works. And yet, Rare forgot one simple thing. New players don't read and they don't listen. But what do I mean by all this? So, when a new player sees a skull, that player nine times out of ten will think, Oh, this is for the Order of Souls! I mean, it makes sense. They have been taught by everything in this game that when you see a skull, you take it to the Order of Souls at an outpost. The Skull of Siren Song being a skull is literally confusing new players. He tried Calypso. Calypso wouldn't take her. This is Sea of Thieves. In today's Tales of Getting Booty, subscribe. Now, once a player has figured out how to vote on the voyage, the second hurdle comes in the form of players not understanding where exactly they're supposed to go to hand in the Skull of Siren song. No, he's trying to take it everywhere. Oh, he's got there's a another guy. It's the guy. <gasps> he was talking. Yeah, despite the big swirling purple aura sitting on top of an island, despite the pop-up message explaining what needs to be done, and despite Briggsy literally telling you where to go, new players keep getting stuck at this part. Seemingly every stream over on twitch.tv slash Do we let's swap let's swap ships? <laughs> Oh, are they you see, there are a few ways to go about winning this voyage. You can go all out naval and sink everyone in your path over and over again. You can go completely uncontested because you're on a dead server and just dig up the chest and key. Or you can T-girl tuck on a player's ship that's doing the voyage or the final island where Briggsy's waiting. And my friend Sora and myself were waiting at that final island with the big purple clouds as we watched for the ship with the skull to make its way over to the hand in point. But but something extremely like actually you have to be so new to this game to even do this happened. The crew of the skull had stopped at a shrine along the way. If we have to club seals, then I would like the plumpest, <laughs> the plumpest <laughs> seal <laughs> to club. <laughs> So, here's what we think had happened. The item's called the Skull of Siren Song, and as we all know, the underwater shrines are all about sirens and mermaids and stuff. The shrine also happened to be directly on the path toward the hand in point, and to top it all off, both the shrine and the hand in point use a very similar purple aura to mark their location. These new players clearly thought this was the hand in point, but as the skull is designed to not be able to be taken into these locations to stop people from griefing, it would keep coming back to the surface, and... I got it. <laughs> There's one going up in the crow's nest, careful. I'm just gonna start rowing away. He's running up to the back of the ship. Okay. Careful. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh my god. So, these swabbies we'd seen were pretty silly, but it would not prepare me for what I was about to witness. Sawyer and I had been roaming the seas trying to find a crew that was participating in the Skull of Siren song, and it was honestly harder to find someone doing that than I anticipated. However, having finally found a crew that was doing it, we got into our hiding places and watched them, and these guys were like, fresh out of the maiden voyage. No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> They're taking a kick! Oh my god, you can't write this! <laughs> you can't! You actually can't write this! Oh my god! Now, I really need to emphasize how long it took them to dig up the key and chest, because by the time they had it, another ship of new players had arrived and. Don't worry, that's what we can do! Save the seas! You got the Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the naval abilities the other ship was demonstrating was... I mean, both crews were throwing firebombs at each other in the rain. I don't think I need to say anything else. But anyway, the crew of the chest and key had finally started to dip. All the while, the other ship was... They're gonna crash into the rock. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no way. And this is where disaster struck. You see, the crew that we were T-Girl talking on had just opened the chest to reveal the Skull of Siren song, along with its hand in location. However, this crew, like many new players, had already made an assumption on where the skull needs to be taken. Despite the pop-up telling them where to go. Do you think they're bringing the skull back to an outpost? Maybe. Yeah, they don't know where to hand it in. They don't know where to hand it in. Oh my f god, rare, rare. Did not swabby test. And on top of that, the other ship was... <laughs> There's no f you shot. I love him so much. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm gonna pass on <laughs> Oh my god. Do we? Don't intervene. No, okay. Honestly. Oh god. <gasps> oh my god. He knows I'm here and it doesn't mean anything right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> this game's so free. <laughs> like the skull's just on the island. <laughs> He's back! He's back! <laughs> Oh my god, look at them turning the angle. <laughs> oh them. my god. No way. So what we had here was two ships full of very new players, both of which had no idea what to do with the Skull of Siren song. He legit doesn't know where to take it. Yeah. Oh my god, rare, please. <laughs> at this point, we were just betting on which swabby we thought would figure out where to sell it first. Oh, what the wrong? Do we let's swap let's swap ships? <laughs> do, we, do we help them? No, 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 no. Whichever swabby has it, we're just gonna follow the swabbies. Oh, they're almost sunk. They're sunk. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh my god. Swabby transfer. Let's go. The Passover. And here's where the overtuned respawn of the Skull of Siren song really started to take effect. Both crews were trying desperately to sell the skull at the outpost. And because of this, the crew that sunk would be able to come back in around three minutes, causing this to happen. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. We might have to do another. Oh, God, let's do another swabby transfer, maybe. Maybe. Uh, actually, let's go and hide somewhere else. Okay. That mouse is going down anywhere. Yep. Okay, I think. I think. They're, they're 100% getting sunk. Do you wanna this one's sinking now. Do you wanna. Do you wanna. Quit? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the other ship. No way! Go. You, okay. Don't let him see you. Oh, Gun. nice, 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 nice. And so we'd got back onto the first ship we were initially tacking on. And while they tried to figure out where to sell it, the other ship was back. It was a freaking endless loop. <laughs> Do you think both of these ships were like, wow, four player sloop and we killed them? <laughs> and because both crews were swabbies, the ship that would return would be at a full advantage to sink the one trying to sell the skull, causing us to hop ships back and forth. Yeah, there, we, there it is, there it is. <laughs> oh no, they f***ed up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Until finally, they'd worked out where the skull needed to go. We were finally at the hand in point, and well, I mean they're swabbies, what did you think was gonna happen? But that's really not the end of it all. You see, I was playing with fellow content creator Mystic, and we had found ourselves in a complete repeat of what just happened. <laughs> He, okay, he's, uh, he's he, like, yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. He tried Calypso. Calypso wouldn't take it. 
He's gonna oh he's gonna try the he's gonna try Athena. Okay. And I dropped the skull by the tavern door. Yeah, you can't you can't let you can't bring it into the tavern, that's why. Yeah, another swabby was trying to hand in the skull of siren song at an outpost. And I mean, you can't write this stuff up. The my shine barrel. <laughs> No, 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 Mystic, Mystic, this is a repeat of what happened to me on Wednesday. This is actually a full repeat. <laughs> no way. No way. Yep. All right. Uh, off to the Nightshine Barrow. Oh, my. He took... That guy literally took the skull everywhere and gave up. There's some kind of phenomenon where players seem to think that treasures are meant to be handed in at an outpost because this game has trained them to do that this entire time. However, the swabby from earlier had... Oh, there's another guy. It's the guy. He was talking. Should I just one blunder him? No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. No, no, no. I'm going to one blunder him. Yeah, honestly, that's a good tug spot. <laughs> I believe in our guy right now. But just as we dealt with the Tucker there, um... Oh, he's no, he's running it round the island. There's another sloop here. There's a plain sail sloop. Should we just let this... That's the one from early. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go and talk on them again. Well, I guess we were trading ships again. And this time, they seemed to know where to go. I guess they went ahead and Googled what to do or something. <laughs> but hey, another Siren Skull special delivery, hand delivered and Ubered to the hand in location. There was no way in hell we were gonna mess this still up. We've all been there. Yep. The I missed it. I wasn't, I was. <gasps> I was looking at chat. I was actually looking at chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, see, no. I was looking at chat. I didn't think he would be here. <laughs> I got a snipe off as well. And if you'd like to see another video about getting hit skulls, then have a look at this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.